So how difficult it is for you to not headbutt Elton? At first, there, um, there's a there's a disagreement in uh, during those uh sessions during those disciplining times but i've learned hardly that uh when i had when when i disagree with how he um uh, disciplined them i would whisper it i would i would do that or i would do an eye contact and then i do that <laughs> sign without but anything. ellie doesn't see right ellie doesn't see okay <laughs> So and then and um, when I do that, Elton would like you know take it easy, you know, and, you know. Oh. <laughs> so, Have you ever doubted yourself? Oh yes, a lot. Ah, that okay. I'm doing this wrong. What if I would raise kids that are rowdy or whatever? So, but you know what? Prayer prayer helps a lot because every night we pray that for us to be a good example to our kids. You know, being mm-hmm. a mom, it 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 boosts your prayer. I mean, you've been a uh, you you. It makes you pray hundred times more. And I think a mother's prayer is also powerful because it, I want to share when when um when I was pregnant with Ellie, um of course being a first mom, um it gives you a lot of, it gives you a lot of worries. But then I prayed, Lord. Uh, I know that I could ask big things from you. And this time, I being a mom, I know that there's a special pray, place of uh, a mother's prayer in your heart. Mm-hmm. So I would ask for a lot of big things. And I know you would grant me that. And then I would pray that uh, Ellie would be smart. I would pray that Ellie would be able to sing to the Lord. I, I prayed very specific that time that she would be healthy, smart, um, she would eat vegetables. I even prayed for that, that she would sing because see, her name, name has a lot, has something to do with uh, singing as well. I don't mm-hmm. remember, but that was a time when I was researching about her name, that uh, singing and a warrior. And she is that now, a warrior and a singer. She is my biggest testimony. Since you have experienced that, doubting yourself for the first baby, do you still doubt yourself now that you have Elijah? There is an assurance from my, because I had uh, experience before, but there is another doubt that came to me because I would spend because when at first with Ellie I had all my time for for her, but this time I also had Ellie to to tend to, and maybe I would have a lesser time for Elijah to focus on, and that's that's another doubt for me. But then God is very helpful and gracious that He gives me. Uh, more more than I could that I would ask for that I was able to uh, to raise them without a nanny or yaya mm-hmm. so I and and uh, of course a lot of support from the people around us you mentioned nanny or or caregiver or yaya I've seen a lot of my co-workers even though they have parents mm-hmm they still leave their kids in a caregiving facility. Oh, well, I have thought of that many times. But maybe it's the culture because I don't want her to be raised by a stranger. You know, mm. Because she will, she will spend a lot of time with that. And I didn't know um, how sh- that Yaya would raise my child. So it's better, and my 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 grand my 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 mother in law also agreed, because she doesn't want, you know, other other people to raise my uh, her grandchild as well. So how do you compensate your mom in law? Um, we didn't talk about that. Maybe we just share something from time to time, but she did not ask. And mm. yes, it's just out of goodwill, and we would you know give something from time to time, and. Mm. I think that's pretty much work. I think that's the that's the beauty of being I don't know being a Filipino. <laughs> we are so closely knitted together. Yes. That. It na naaaliw din naman siya, you know. Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Pero alam mo kasi ang ang childcare dito, ah. childcare dito is and pag na late ka ng ilang minuto, 
that means an additional at least ten dollars. Grabe, no? Pero tutuwa ako na nakakausap kita ngayon na ganito. Parang, parang ibang level ka na. Nabanat na kaila. Kinailangan. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Parang yung, yung married life mo and your experiences mm-hmm. as a mother has shaped you into a better person eh. Kasi yeah. nakita ko mas responsable ka. Was your career path The change in your career path motivated by having another baby? Yes, a lot. Actually, um, um, it, I didn't have my second child first. I was, I had a chance, you know, I was offered for a promotion, but that would take a lot of time. Mostly, I would, that post would make you travel different provinces of the Philippines. I even asked I even asked Nove about this one uh, I was offered this. I asked them I, on our group chat like with with Ate Daisy, Ariel, Grace and Bebe. Na I was offered this, but this would take a lot of time for me. And I prayed, they also prayed for me that uh, that your decision uh, you have to know the purpose of you being there and Uh, the reason, your motivation, why you work. So for me, I work for my family. So why would I, why, why would I compromise my time for the family uh, just because of my work? So I declined. And then, <clears throat> you know what? God is preparing me because I didn't know that I would have a second child. Though we, pla- we planned, we wanted to have a second child, but COVID happened. So mm-hmm. we halted that. But then I didn't know that God was preparing me for that decision that he would he would take me somewhere else because he wanted me to serve my purpose for my family and uh, the people around me so you know what um, i'm very blessed and grateful that um, even though i forget about god most of the time that he still have his own path he's been faithful you know he's been faithful and Um, I didn't. I didn't realize that all those hardships and all those um, trials that I have experienced before in my job and uh, leads me here. And I decided to work from home for my family, for our safety as well. At uh, at first, because of mm-hmm. COVID, and then uh, I'd like to spend more time with my family. So it now, si Elton na lang yung lumalabas labas. Ako dito na sa bahay. <laughs> How much does a childbirth cost in the Philippines? Well, this one kasi, I opted for a smaller one because of COVID. So, because bigger, oh, okay. bigger hospitals, like, Ellie was born in in a bigger hospital. But this one, I opted for a smaller one because they didn't have COVID cases. So, was it a big difference? Not, 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 really. not ah, okay. Well, Ellie, si Ellie noon, I think as sa 50,000 pa lang yung ginamit ko diyan eh. But I uh, had epidural that time so it it should have costed more. But we knew the doctor because you know I'm because a Because of yeah, your also, profession. They gave us a, gave us a lot of discount. Oh, okay. But this time, um, I didn't have a discount na because uh, hindi ko na cover yung... I mean, I didn't have... I didn't know the doctor pretty well. So, But um, it cost uh, almost 75,000. But because of the swab. Because I... Uh, the swab was expensive. Uh, uh, was that, what do you call that? Swab test. RT-PCR. RT-PCR. How much is the RT-PCR? It costed us siguro mga 15,000 for both. 15,000? Because um it was an emergent uh emergency swab. Antigen, I had an antigen and Elton and I had an antigen swab. Antigen test. So that's um 25 each. So mm-hmm. 5,000. And then my RT-PCR because I nagpositive ako sa, sa antigen. So it means I had an exposure. So I had to undergo the RT-PCR. But it would cost more because it had to have a result within 
12 or 8 hours. So, so I think that was 7.5, I think. So that added to the cost of childbirth. So the 75,000 pesos cost of uh, giving birth to Elijah? Elijah. Includes the COVID test yes. that you have to take. Yes. <laughs> did you even use insurance? Do you have insurance? No, my insurance did not cover uh, maternity. How come? Uh, that was a company, that was an HMO. It only covered yung mga checkups, mat, um, mat, prenatal tests, prenatal checkups, but not the delivery. Mm-hmm. But PhilHealth covered somehow maybe 6,000 lang yata. Yung, yung, yung. So you have to cover pretty much mm-hmm. yung mga SS, 70. Yung SS kasi malaki din. Though it was reimbursement, pero malaki din naman. So we had to save So up. that's the 60,000 because you have, you received 20,000, right? It's the maternity benefit? Uh, yes, for the SS. But the good thing, I forgot to tell earlier, if if your salary is more than 20,000, let's say 30,000, uh, 20,000 per month for SS, the 30,000 would, the 10,000 10, would be shouldered by your company. So Explain get, na ulit. For example, uh, yung ceiling, SSS, the, the mm-hmm. ceiling for the compensation per month is 20,000. So that's the maximum that they could give you. But mm-hmm. if your salary per month, for example, is 30,000, Hmm? The remaining 10,000 per month will be covered by your company. So they would give you another. So you would receive the exact uh, sal- your exact salary if it's uh, okay. 20,000. So that 20,000 that you mentioned earlier every mm-hmm. month that you give uh, that you receive from social security mm-hmm. that's the uh, that's the maternity benefit. Yes. But uh, no, the ten the the, the, the ten thousand is also included in the maternity benefit, but the SSS, from the company. No, that's also an SSS mandated. SSS Ew. mandated that, but the money came from the comp- from yeah. your company. Right. Wow, very nice. So you all in all, you received like uh, ninety thousand to cover the expenses. Then, so technically, your child labor cost technically ended up free. Yes. The 75,000, right? Right. Yes. Wow, ang galing. Ang galing naman ng Pilipinas. Because mm. in here in the US, insurance, of course, will cover all the maternity mm. costs. They will cover that. But it will be insurance. I don't think you will get a benefit from the government or from Social Security. The only benefit that you'll get is the, what I mentioned earlier, the Family Medical Leave Act. That up to 12 weeks of ano, unpaid leave nga lang. Uh, so anyway, Eloisa, thank you so much for your time. Please thank Elton also for the time na uh, nag-alaga. Take care of the baby. Mm-hmm.